Hello everyone. I'm going to do another layout update for what it's worth. I can't report too much on the progress of the actual layout. Not much has changed. It's still pretty much the same because I've been busy working on the front. We'll get to that. We'll get to that engine later. But right now, all I can I can show progress to the front. This took me, uh, I started doing this before the holidays. There's an access door there to get underneath and an access door over there. This is the command control center I was talking about. I got my ZW and the Z4000. The controller's in one, the magazine's in the other. And that's empty right now. These drawers, open for little bits and pieces. Tires, batteries, smoke fluid. This is where I'm going to work on the engine. I've made this thing wide enough so that the, D, the DD40 can fit in here. And I can work on my engines that way. Close it back up when I'm done. I had other plans to go with the command center, but it didn't quite work out. But I'll I'll take what I can get done here. When I originally got into this, to the train hobby, I had all Lionel engines. And then I found MTH, and slowly but surely I was selling off my Lionels and buying MTH engines to the point where all these engines are now MTH. Every engine I have is an MTH. I decided to take a chance with Lionel and I got the Evolution Hybrid. Here's the packaging it comes in. It's bolted to a, a wood block which is interesting because uh, I've never had an engine that did, that did that. The box is pretty nice too. Well, this is the one Lionel engine that I have, and I bought the Legacy system just for this engine. And I gotta say, it's a pretty impressive engine. It's loaded with details. The lights do actually work. And, uh... I could start by opening up this little... I'll show you some of the details here if I can open the doors. There's one thing. These doors are magnetically closed. The top of this comes off. Shows the details inside. This is all die cast too, so this, this thing has some weight to it. The, the fee, the, these fans, uh, I have to explain these fans because it took us a little trying out at, at, the, at the train store. Uh, these fans do actually spin, but they only spin at certain RPMs. So if you buy it and you take it home and the fans don't spin, well, it's because you're not going fast enough. And then this top lifts off. It does take a 9 volt battery. And there's your switches for your Odyssey and your sounds and the lights along the side, which you'll see later. 